Hi guys, my name is Frank El Medico Rodriguez. I'm here with SAE, and today we're gonna do a tutorial about keyboard and MIDI mapping in Ableton. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about uh, how to do key mapping and MIDI mapping in Ableton Live. The main purpose of uh, key mapping or MIDI mapping is to use keys on your keyboard to uh, trigger events, either trigger cells or trigger scenes or trigger parameters to increase or decrease. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Let's start with key mapping. Now the first thing I should do before I do key mapping is turn off my uh, computer MIDI controller because if I do not, uh, then you will be sending MIDI messages while at the same time trying to use those keys to send uh, trigger messages. So that might not uh, work too well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and turn on key mapping. You'll notice that everything turns a nice tangerine color and anything that's been colored essentially is enabled to trigger or enabled to map, I should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my first clip over here and I'm going to press, let's say the letter A. And then I'm gonna click on, click on my second clip and I'm gonna go ahead and press the letter S just uh, to use two examples. And so that I'm able to stop everything from playing, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the stop all clips uh, box over here at the bottom right. And I'm gonna press the letter D. Once we have that set up, you can go ahead and turn off key mapping and then go ahead and press your triggers. I'm gonna go ahead and press the letter A. There it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and press the letter S. There they go. And I mapped the letter D to stop all my clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it now. And that will stop all my clips. And there you go, that's key mapping. Now for MIDI mapping, it's very similar. All you have to do is essentially the same process, but instead of pressing key, you're gonna press MIDI, okay? Now for that, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the mapping that I did with my keyboard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, either highlight the mapped uh, sections, or you can open up your browser over here and select everything that's mapped and press delete. Okay, now I'm gonna go to MIDI mapping. And there's another browser for MIDI mappings and it's gonna be the same thing. You click on the uh, section that you want to trigger or you want to control and then just press a key on your controller. I'm gonna press the letter, the key C, there's C key. There's one. And then I'm gonna click on the next one over. I'm gonna press C sharp, there's two. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Stop everything with, gotta click on, there you go. Stop everything with D. And in addition to that, I am going to do what's called a range. Uh, I'm going to map a range of keys uh, by, for that so that I can have a more accurate control. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my send for delay. And I'm going to hold one key. And then while holding that key, press a, a key down, a few keys down. In this case, I pressed F2 and E3. So now that particular controller will be mapped to a ra that range of keys. So everything in between F2 and E3. Once I'm done, I can turn off MIDI mapping and trigger. Pressing my notes. Stop it with this one. And then when it comes to the range, as you can see, if I press, as I go up the keyboard in that range, that particular send will be adjusting itself depending on which key I press. So I could do a quick uh, delay throw if I wanted to. So I'm gonna trigger that note. And then throw the delay. Cool, huh? I hope you enjoyed that tutorial about keyboard and MIDI mapping in Ableton. For more information, please visit our website at usa.sae.edu.